tonight. Uh, very soon, many students taking the SAT will be getting scored on more than just reading, writing, and math. They'll now receive an adversity score, taking into account their home life. It ranks things like crime and poverty rates in a student's neighborhood, but does not include race. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Stefan Kim. To be honest, wow. like very, very stressful. Nervous and feeling a little bit stressed. Meet Amaya and Chloe Cook. The Hoboken cousins are your average middle schoolers who worry about taking the SATs all year like all year we study for it not even in high school yet and they know how much their scores could determine their fates that's partly why the college board says it is introducing changes to the standardized test adding an adversity score to account for factors like the crime rate and poverty level of the students home neighborhood imagine that student who's grown up with less made a ton out of it that's a great person to let in to your highly resourced college because imagine what they'll do when they have all those resources. A trial version has been tested by 50 colleges. It'll be rolled out to 150 schools this year, then to more schools next year. So this is our um, Jersey City classroom. Okay. Irby Cohen says it's a step in the right direction in terms of leveling the playing field. An SAT score should not be the thing that completely holds you back. And that's coming from someone who makes a living on SAT prep. Cohen's curriculum serves thousands of students from all different backgrounds, from Harlem to the Upper West Side. But she says there are still questions on how the adversity score will be implemented. Time will tell um, in terms of how they're going to use it. I think there, you know, there's going to be no mandate in terms of how they're supposed to use this information. Meanwhile, the change could also anger better performing students worried this will put them at a disadvantage. But the College Board doesn't see it that way. What the College Board is doing is giving admissions officers context to look at SAT scores and see those students who may not have scored as high on the SAT, but given their context have accomplished amazing things.